This is a generative design bike. Uh, generative design is kind of an exciting new type of design where instead of designing the object itself, you design what you want the object to do. So this is done by putting in the forces acting on the object, what materials you have available, and what manufacturer methods you have on hand. So to do this, I started off with a bike design I found off a of grab cab. Uh, I then removed everything that I wasn't going to need. So I was left with just the bike frame. Uh, and this is what I'm going to try to emulate by just putting in the forces acting on the bike frame itself. So what we have in green here is all the preserves. So this is what is going to be maintained in the final design. And then in blue, that is all the forces acting on the body. So there's a force of a person sitting on the seat, force going into the handlebars, feet on the pedal, and the force on the rear wheel as well. Uh, this is kind of a simplified version of what you'd really need to make a really solid design. Uh, you'd want all the load cases that would be involved. So if a person shifts their way to the left or right, uh, if you're going over a bump, um, if you're lean back, lean forward, those are all going to act on the frame slightly different. This is just a general case of a person sitting on a bike. Then you go into all the obstacles acting on the bike. Uh, so that would be the area swept out by the wheels, swept up by the pedals. Uh, this is where I wanted to add the ground to make sure nothing got, no material got put there. Uh, some space for the seat as well as all the gears on the side of the wheels. And then for good measure, I designed the person in there. Uh, this is to make sure that no material went where the person would be. And then once all of that was kind of inputted, uh, I also added what materials I had on hand and the uh, manufacturing methods available. Uh, mostly select a nice handful of materials and a decent amount of manufacturing methods to kind of just see what type of designs would be outputted. And here's a few of them. Some of them came out pretty good. Others came out pretty messed up. Uh, there's some which are just not symmetrical, have a weird twist in them. Some didn't converge on a finalized design. Some are just disconnected. But a few of them came out pretty nice, and here's one that I particularly liked. And I'm going to kind of run you through uh, what it's doing over each iteration. So it starts with a big ball of, or big glob of material connecting all the points. And then it's kind of just taking away what material is being least used after each generation. And then slowly kind of converges to a uh, a lighter, more streamlined design that is a little bit better suited for the data that was initially inputted. So this one came out pretty similar to the actual regular CAD model, which I found pretty neat. Uh, there's a few differences. The rear uh, rods are a little bit higher on the generative design. There's an extra one in the middle going forward. And there's this cross in the very front too. There's also not really any straight lines on it. All the rods are a little bit curved, uh, which is usually pretty typical in the generative design. To actually make something like this, it would need to be touched up a little bit because you can see around each of the joints, it's a little bit messed up, but I do think it's pretty cool from just like the initial, all right, here are the forces acting on this object. This is kind of what you should avoid building around, that the computer is able, able to generate something that looks very similar to a, a bike frame that has been made over generations. So here's a, kind of a nice rendering of it. Um, you know, it looks like something that could be functional. Be very hard to actually manufacture because there's not really any straight lines on it. So it'd have to be like 3D printed. 
found this stuff pretty interesting, and I hope you learned something or also found it interesting. Uh, if you want to mess around with any designs, they're going to be up on GrabCAD. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching.